What up guys, Disney Chow is back at it again and today I'm going to show you guys my lightsaber collection. Alright guys, but before we continue with the video, don't forget, hit that subscribe button and at the end of the video, smash that like, it tells us that you care. Alright guys, so I thought I'd make a little video of, I don't know if I can call it a collection. But it's a start of a collection. Um, I have I have three lightsabers and one baton. But it's not really a lightsaber, but it still has to do with Star Wars. But um, I want to go over each one real quick um, and show you guys what the lightsabers are about. All right. Start off with the first one that I got ever was a gift from my sister and my brother-in-law. It is the Force Effects Black Series lightsaber. This one right here. It's the Anakin Skywalker one. It's got the switch right here. It lights up blue. That's the, it has the gyro sounds and everything. It's very lightweight. I don't know if you guys can hear me off of that. But it's very lightweight. It's very nice. The only bad thing about this is that you can't take out the light, the blade compared to like the Galaxy Z ones. Um, but I like it. It's very nice to like play with. Um, swinging around and stuff but uh, other than that it just really just sits on my desk you know because um, uh, I don't want to damage it you know no battle damage okay anyways the second one that I'm gonna go over with is the one of my favorite ones because uh, I built it of course you know of course it's gonna be my favorite one it's the Galaxy's Edge um, Savage Workshop lightsaber so this one was pretty expensive, um, but I'll tell you why. So this is the sheath that they give you with the lightsaber. Um, they also provide you with this little um, button. It's a little pin. I don't know if you can see it because of the light. Here you go. Is that a little better? Right there. Okay. Uh, it's really cool. Mine was um, modeled after the Guardians. Uh, temple guards so um, let me show you guys right, right here now you know what I think that I was playing with it the other day and I think I have a different kyber crystal in here than what I made it with but it's okay this is it it's based off of the temple guards if you guys can see it you can see the video actually if you want to see that video it'll pop up right here or right here I always forget what spot the little things are somewhere anyways it's based off of the temple guards lightsaber it's uh, of course uh, scrap metal um, definitely something that I would if you have the money it's $215 uh, no AP discount um, I would recommend highly recommend getting it it's it's, it's very very cool um, like I said I think I have the, I don't remember what color lightsaber uh, crystal I have in here, but let me show you. Oh, it's the white one. <laughs> you can hear the sounds. All the sounds are different according to the crystal that you put in it. And there's a little chamber in here. You can change out the crystals. You can get a red crystal, blue crystal, green crystal, and so on and so forth. You can see plenty of other videos on that um, on YouTube. I don't think I have a video on that one, but I will have one soon. Uh, but Dano's channel has great videos too. Go check him out. Um, but yeah, this is one of my favorites. Also, great thing about this one is that the blade comes out. Ooh, battery's low. That's the sound that the battery's low. If you guys have one of these light tapers, that tells you that the battery is low. You just replace them. Cool thing about them, they're just replaceable batteries. You take this part, part right here and you switch out the AAA batteries, put it back in, you're good to go. I wouldn't... I mean, if you're going to store this uh, and not use it a lot, take out the batteries so that the batteries don't leak on you, okay? Um, awesome thing about this is that, of course, the lights, the blades come out and you can display this without um, the blade on it. So you can, they have these stands over at um, Doc Ondar's over at Disneyland and Galaxy's Edge where it just sits on the stand like this, like that. So it's very cool. Uh, I, I plan on 
um, buying a couple of those because I do have another lightsaber that I want to display. And but until then, it'll just sit in the sheath with this and the blade. I'm gonna leave this out because I want to show you my next one. My next one is uh, one of my dark, first Dark Under purchases, which is uh, the lightsaber comes in, of course, it comes in a nice little box like this, and you hit the button. So it comes out like this, and you hit this button, and it opens up like that, and ooh, voila, you get the lightsaber in there. This is the Sarge Ventress' lightsaber. Um, the reason why I got this is because uh, I really like her lightsaber. She's she's very underestimated. She's uh, If you guys seen the um, Star Wars Rebels, she comes out a lot on, and actually Clone Wars as well. Um, she's very, uh, I would say she's a badass Sith. She's really cool. Um, she was uh, Darth uh, um, Count Dooku's uh, apprentice, okay? And so you guys can find out more uh, about her in the animated series, Clone Wars, and uh, also in Rebels, I think she comes out. I think so. Yeah. I do remember her in Rebels. But this is cool because unlike the the Savvy Workshop ones, you don't replace the crystals on these. Okay? Also, one little thing. If you want to put, because this one comes in a set. Actually, it's not a set, but you can buy two of them and put them, connect them together like Darth Maul's lightsaber, they make this really cool like S looking wave. Um, the, you don't have to buy the piece separate. The piece comes on underneath the, this little uh, blister thing, uh, underneath there with everything you need, okay? Um, cool thing is that uh, the lightsabers from Savvy Workshop use the, the same blade as these from Dark Anders as well. So, and there's also different sizes. So if you want a lar longer size or a shorter one, like. Uh, Ahsoka Tano's lightsaber has a short one and a long blade um, that way it looks like the ones that she has but cool thing is they use the same blade and all the technology is the LED, it's a RGB strip in here and they adjust according to whatever lightsaber you have so you don't have to buy multi, you, have, you don't have to buy one blade per lightsaber because it gets expensive they're like 30 to 40 they run from like 35 dollars to like 50 dollars i think don't quote me on that because I, I don't remember i haven't bought one yet i will be buying one as soon as they open up again but there's that one it's red you see it it sounds like a sounds like an engine sounds pretty cool like a hot ride but it's super nice well constructed i love it it feels nice in your hand it feels solid um, it's definitely heavier than the Force Effects lightsabers. Um, the Savvy Workshop ones are heavier than this too. So um, I would definitely, um, if you wanna, I, I, I don't know how, definitely cosplay is cool. I don't know about banging stuff with it because the blade, like uh, like a lot of videos you've seen on, on, if you look up a lot of lightsabers, the blades on these are a little flimsy. So um, I don't know how hard you can swing them there's it's a plastic little rim on here so i don't know how well that's going to hold up with a, a swing um but i don't know if you want to bang them up as expensive as they are this one was uh one 130 at uh, doc Gondars just by itself so if you wanted the set you would pay about 260 dollars uh so um i'm definitely gonna buy the other one because uh, I want to have the, the second um, curve and I want to um, put them together. But other than that, um, it's just a really freaking cool piece to look at. I love the way, the detail. Um, if you guys wanted, wanted, want me to do a video of a full-on in-depth review on these lightsabers, comment below. Tell me, you know, and I'll, I will. I'll, I'll review every single lightsaber I have in my collection. Um, because the the detail, I'll do a detailed video and everything, weight and all that kind of stuff. But it's it's very cool. Build quality is amazing. It's not a cheap, you know, a cheap like um, toy. It's not it's not a cheap toy. It definitely feels like this could really like light up a lightsaber. You know what I mean? 
um, it's it's super cool. I like it. It's one of my favorites. And like, and my next one I want to get is the Count Dooku one too. That one, I really want to get. Um, but let's move on. All right, this one's not a lightsaber, but it's also in my collection. Um, it's not a, not a lightsaber, but it's also in my collection. I have it in display. It comes with a stand, but it's it's up on the wall. This thing, oh my god. It's super cool. It's the baton um, from um, Star Wars, uh, w one of the first order stormtroopers. Um, I think Finn fights one of the stormtroopers with the lightsaber. Um, he's got the stormtroopers wearing uh, using one of these. And he's like, I think, uh, yeah, he said he says traitor, and then he throws he throws a shield down, and he gets his baton, and he swings it around. But it's this thing is super cool. It's it has a little motion. Let me see if I can get it to work right. Let me see. I think you have to twist there and you lock it in like that. And then this is the the compact version, I guess. Not the baton version, but I guess it's like the the machine gun version. I don't know. Maybe it shoots lasers or something. Pew pew pew. But it goes. You hit this little safety switch here, and then. So cool, but you can hear, you can see the lights. It's also it's got motion activation and it has bumping and stuff, so you can hit it and it see that? and it's got a little bit of a blue light. I know it's I got all my lights on right now, so you won't be able to see it that well. But it's got a little motion. It's got a little trigger right here, and then you just hit it. Yeah, it's like an engine. It's super cool. But this is one of my favorite things that I got. My sister and my brother-in-law got this for me. Of course, they spoil me. They know how addicted I am to Star Wars stuff, and they really, really, really spoil me with this stuff. But I thought I'd show you my collection. That's pretty much it. I have three lightsabers. I have my Anakin Skywalker one. I have my um, Savage Workshop one that I made and built myself. And I have my Saw's Ventures lightsaber. And of course, I have the baton. For the first order stormtrooper which is super cool um but um tell me what you thought about the video guys i mean that's pretty much it let me know if you guys want me to do a full-on detailed review on some of these things um pick the one you guys want me to start with first and i'll do it no problem and there's more to come on my collection addiction to lightsabers it's expensive so i have to pace myself and um and also i'll be showing you more of this other stuff that i have i have a bunch of stormtrooper stuff which is fun i just bought my mandalorian um uh, fire trooper uh incinerator not fire trooper incinerator um stormtrooper helmet which is super cool came out for the mandalorian um and i also got the funko pop so i can i can show you guys that later on in a future video um but that's about it guys thank you for joining me i try, I try to keep it as short as possible I don't want to go too in depth with it, but tell me if you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button, and also don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification icon ding -ding -ding. to get notified when posting videos. Where did that voice come from? Who knows? All right, guys, big chubs out. <laughs>